Okay, so we've uh, completed step number three, and um, now we want to work on step number four. And the first part of that says that we're currently clicked on to the chart itself, so we want to click into the table, pivot table, hit the analyze tab, hit the insert slicer, and I think it's wanting us to do it by category, so we're going to click category. And this is going to create a control slicer, so you can sit there and click anything on the slicer and it controls the data that actually comes out of the chart. And um, after that, let's see, after clicking that, we have hit, hit OK. Um, we'll click the dessert so the table, uh, the chart comes up with the slicer. Um, then what it's asking us to do is to go up and clear the filter. So this is the clear, clear filter button. And um, it'll restore the table back to what we originally had. And then it's asking us to click anywhere on the pivot table and click product in the chart. And we're going to deselect everything. And then we're going to click a couple items, so apricot cobbler, um, asparagus salad, and blackberry salad. And then we're hitting OK. And all this is doing is it's cutting down the categories. And if we go and we expand these two, <clears throat> we'll see the three, thing, three options that um, the step five is asking us to do. So step six has us go back and, and collapse these two things out and then click the product in the chart. And we're going to reselect everything so it all populates back and the charts restart themselves back to normal for step six.